Hi Gemini, welcome to your spirit guide messages for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much. This is a new series I'm introducing to the channel. So if you do like this, please comment, let me know. I love to read the comments. Um, this is what your spirit guides want to tell you, spirit messages that you need to hear. So we'll just see what we get here. We got Oracle and Tarot. Uh, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. There's tons and tons of stuff there. So thank you so much to all the support everyone has given the channel. Really does mean a lot to me. Whether you've tipped or donated, reached out for personal reading, subscribed, whatever you've done. All the new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for being a part of the channel's growth and uh, being here to support it. So thank you, thank you. All right, so this is for Gemini. This is spirit messages. What do your spirit guides want to tell you at this time? So I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, Gemini, what do, does your spirit guides want to tell you? What do your spirit guides want to tell you? What do you need to know right now? What are the spirit messages for Gemini? Thank you, thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. What does Gemini need to know? What do you want to tell them for October? For October, what do you want to tell them for October? All right. I'm going to pull three from each deck. So far, we have Follow Your Dreams. I'll go over them again. We have Love Partnership, and we have Nature. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. All right, so let's pull three from this deck. Three from this deck. All the decks are listed below if you are interested in knowing what they are. All right. What do we have for Gemini spirit? What does Gemini need to know? What do you want to tell Gemini? We got two there. One more. One more. Sacral chakra. Hmm. Wow. So we have harmony, conflict, and defeat, and we have sacral chakra. All right. Let's get three from this deck. Two. Gemini up a little bit so that you can see them all. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Spirit messages for Gemini. All right, Spirit. What does Gemini need to know? What do you want to tell Gemini? Two. We got one more for Gemini. All right. Let's see. I'll clarify with Tarot. So we have coming apart... We have Moonlight, and we have One Ring Circus. So, first of all, up here we have number 85, Follow Your Dreams. 85, that's 13, 4, which is about foundation, basis, structure. So, whatever you're thinking of doing, I think Spirit is trying to tell you here that if there's something you've been procrastinating on, if there's a new endeavor, project, something that you've been wanting to do, you've wanted to follow through on, and you haven't been doing it, you've been putting it on hold, or you just put it on the back burner, or whatever, or maybe you haven't even started yet. I think they're really trying to tell you now to, it's time for you to follow your dreams. Because now we have love partnership, eight. Well, 26 is eight, and that's about taking action, communication, travel, moving forward. So, I mean, this could be moving forward in a love partnership for some of you that maybe it's finally time to move this connection up to the next level or whatever uh, endeavor or project or something that you've been wanting to follow your dreams will be something that will be totally in line with something you love to do and to sort of be like a love partnership so that has different meanings there so you take it however you see fit or you can be following your dreams and uh, pursuing or connecting or leveling up with someone who is your person, who is your dream. Different messages there. So then we have nature. 
which is 74, which is 11, which is 2, which is about unity, uh, people coming together. And, you know, maybe some of you just need to get back out into nature if it's something that you haven't done in a long time, going out for a walk, going hiking, going by the lake or the river or camping. Um, it's getting kind of cold to go camping, but something where out in nature and green is all about abundance. It's all about stability. Um, so I think it's something here when you get out in nature, it really stabilizes you. Uh, makes you feel at peace um, and green is also about um, monetary abundance too so I think if you follow your dreams and something you truly love I think it will bring abundance to you here it could be something to do with nature or some of you just need to get back out into nature if it's something that you whether you exercise out in nature and you haven't been doing that or something like that so now we have six hair harmony, which is the lovers. So, and that is your energy. This is the Gemini card. So some of you, I really feel here with follow your dreams and love partnership, that you're really going to be coming into harmony with someone who is your lover, who's someone you're going into a deeper love partnership with, and they're like your dream come true and having total peace and harmony in this connection. This person brings you a lot of peace and harmony. But then we have the um, Five of Wands here, which is conflict and defeat. This can be inner conflict, conflict around you, also can be competition. Um, so maybe you were very conflicted about, um, you know, moving forward and leveling up in this connection or moving forward in your dreams. Like, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know. What if? you know what if it doesn't work what if it's not meant for me what you know having like that inner conflict and negative mental thoughts but five is also about change so I think you just need to get over that doubt and fear in your mind and that inner conflict now we have the sacral chakra which is number two to again about unity and the sacral chakra is um, it's not the base chakra it's the next one up it's basically your groin so this is a very passionate um, chakra it's about desire and passion and following your dreams and you know that passion and fire within you so I, I feel like you have a very strong chemistry and sexual energy with a, a, a love partnership here and maybe your dream to level up to have like a committed relationship and it's telling you, but you're conflicted. Maybe you don't think they feel the same way. Maybe it's just a sexual relationship. But I see here with Harmony that I kind of feel like they want the same thing because you have a lot of cards here that equal two. So I think they want unity also. But there definitely is a lot of passion and desire. And if it's not in a love partnership, it's following your dreams and going after what you want and being in alignment with what you truly love to do with that love partnership there. Some of you do need to get out in nature, exercise, or connect with nature, ground yourself, that sort of energy. And then we have 46 here, which is coming apart. 46 is 10, which is about an ending, and then 101 is a new beginning. So coming apart here, I just want to look that up to see what the book has to say with these cards. So. That's number 46. I don't know, is that the last card? No. Now is the time to take separate paths. The coming apart card is a sign to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need to break a promise or change course because you took on more than you could handle. This is a perfect time to reset your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe in have you created partnership that is not mutually beneficial separation dissolution and dispersion are all in focus now if someone wishes to break away from you don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear the price you'll pay will not be worth the prize separation brings good fortune so i'm not getting a sense here of like coming apart from anybody but maybe with the mental conflict here you have fear of um, falling, of this relationship falling apart, or you just going your separate ways. Um, 
So maybe you feel if you don't commit or try to take this one step further that uh, it'll break the two of you apart here. Or you're just coming apart inside with that inner conflict of you don't know what to do, you don't know whether to offer commitment, you don't know should I follow my dreams if it's not in a relationship, in an endeavor, a project, something here. Um, coming apart can be just that inner turmoil and conflict and confusion of not knowing what to do, like you're torn going in two directions here. And then you have Moonlight here, which is 51, which equals six. Six to me is always a very healing, balancing number. Uh, it's about moving forward and a very heal, healing energy. So let's see what Moonlight has to say. And I believe, um, well, we'll see. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical and analytical, follow it. Moonlight beckons, come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second guessing yourself where your alternate perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is your, yours if you follow the signs. So exactly. Trust in your gut, your intuition, your inner knowing about having that sensation from within and deep knowing that I need to follow my dreams. I need to level up in some way, shape, or form, either in a partnership or just in a new way, in a new project, endeavor, like I said. Trust in your gut and your intuition. And also... You know, divine is trying to send you messages, and it may be in nature. Maybe you keep seeing the same uh, animal over and over and over again when you're outside in nature, or like uh, the same insect or whatever here. It could be a butterfly, it could be a dragonfly, it could be um, a ladybug, it could be anything. And it's a sign from above that you need to follow your gut, your intuition, and the path that you desire to walk on. Okay, so now we have, so I just noticed here, wow, these two cards are 51 and 15, so this is meant to be here. So again, six with the healing balancing number, and you got six here. So we have one ring circus, 15. So you may feel like like with this all this conflict and coming apart that, or maybe your life is very busy right now, you've got a lot going on, you feel like it's a circus. You feel like a circus within with everything going on in your mind uh, and everything around you. Just feeling really um, like out of sorts. So let's see what this says. One ring circus, you are capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Independent relationships are always mutually supportive stimulating and transform transformative you can achieve anything at this time right so again knowing your boundaries with it with from within and setting those with other people as you're moving forward doing what's best for you getting over the conflict because you got 51 with trusting your intuition and then 15 so i think you just really need to trust here and uh move forward either in a partnership or with your dreams that you're trying to manifest. And it's something very, either way, something very fiery, passionate. All right. So let's say, uh, let's see. What do I want to clarify here? Um, conflict and defeat. What is that about? The Knight of Cups. So again, moving forward with your heart's desire, what makes you happy and content? You're conflicted about taking that action. 
of what truly makes you happy with the conflict and defeat there. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see what harmony's about. The Page of Swords. So this is an open, honest, truthful communication. You can be spying on one another, um, on somebody, gaining information somehow online. So I feel like you definitely need um, open communication with either a person or just people around you say, hey, this is what I want to do, what's best for me. I need my inner peace and harmony. I need to follow my dreams, my passions, my desires. And just going for it and just saying, you know, standing in your truth, standing in truth and clarity. If it's with this partnership or it's just yourself moving forward. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see what nature's about. Let's see what nature's about. What is nature about here? The Three of Cups. So, you know, this is rejoicing, celebrating, coming together uh, with like-minded people. So maybe there's like a group of you that go out in nature, maybe exercise or do something, or a group of you just do something out in nature regularly. You know, so maybe you need to start... Um, doing that if you haven't or if you haven't been doing it the hangman yeah in pause in limbo here yeah you're in pause and in limbo about following your uh, passions your desires you know you're trying to gain perspective you're trying to figure out what to do you're seeing things from all angles but this is an act card of not taking action of just being still and hanging back so still you know trying to become enlightened should i move forward in my passion all right so let's see what the love partnership is what is the love partnership for gemini spirit is it a person place thing what is the love partnership for gemini nine of swords so whatever <laughs> short energy so whatever it is you're stressed worry a fear anxiety about this love partnership, this fear and stress there, but let's maybe get one more. What are you stressing over about that? King of Rods, about coming forward and following your passion, being a king, and going after it with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So it could be, you know, a person, it could be just going forward with your dreams and ambitions. The King of Rods, they go after what they want with a lot of drive, ambition and fiery passion but you're all worried and stressed over that about either you know leveling up with this person or just following your dreams or it could be both maybe you know you got two things going on yeah you're just seven of pentacles energy just hanging back and waiting period of waiting and not taking action with the hanged man they are two sort of like the same energy wow so what do we have here Nine of Rods, so this is the wounded warrior. You know, you've been through a struggle, a battle, a fight, but you keep on going. The Last Judgment, so Judgment card here. Trying to make this final decision of what to do here. Trying to listen to your gut and your intuition to make a decision. You need to listen so you can make that final decision. You know, you feel like you've been through the ringer with this coming apart with everything going on around you and inside you. And you feel like just beat down and uh, worn here. But you can make this decision to move forward and go after what you want if you just listen from within. Because you can be stable and grounded on your own two feet um, here and just be very abundant and independent. No matter what's going on in your mind and around you, you can be successful and abundant here with the Nine of Pentacles energy if you choose to take that action. Nine of Cups, yeah, it'll bring you happiness and joy. You can have your happiness and joy, fulfillment, and wishes coming true if you follow your dreams and work at it. The Three of Pentacles energy, you need to work on it. Work at it. And manifest this new beginning for yourself. Again, and here's your energy, the Queen of Swords. You know, being in your truth, your clarity, standing up for yourself. Cutting away things not serving you, not taking any BS from anybody. To have this brand new, you got two brand new beginnings here on the bottom of the deck. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So you have an energy, you have the sword of victory, and you have the stable new beginning to growth and abundance. 
and living in purity and truth, clarity, and victorious new beginning if you choose to take that path. Wow, Gemini. Uh, Gemini, um, if you like this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, they're all different. So don't miss out on that. And sending you uh, lots of luck in your situation here. Sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.